All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're going to do another scap recent one. I've been missing out on a lot of these recent ones. Um, and this one's called LeBron Humiliated by His Own Teammates. And I'm out of the loop. So let's see what this is all about. Uncharted territory for LeBron James, who typically has saved the most humiliating moments of his career until the postseason, specifically the finals round. But generally, LeBron and his pathetic stand base of ignorant stooges, which extend, of course, into various levels of the mass media, have been hanging their hats on the regular season for years. And the king of the regular yeah, season certainly did have a stranglehold on his JV trash can of an Eastern Conference that he resided in for the first 16 years of his career. With LeBron snagging either a one or two <laughs> seed for 10. Freaking Stevenson was such a douche. Um, yeah, <laughs> such a freaking douche. What is it with LeBron fans and like they, they treat the regular season like it counts? Like the regular season is just to make the playoffs, you know, that's the whole point of it is to get your position in the playoffs. Like you're, you're great in the regular season. It doesn't mean shit. Like you got to win the ring, dude. Ten years while cakewalking his way to final series after final series from his Eastern Conference springboard. But it has been decidedly more difficult sledding once he got into the Western Conference. Yeah, you can barely this make the season, playoffs though, now. This season, though, has arguably been his most embarrassing yet. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Okay, okay. His most embarrassing since 2021-2022 oh when he demanded the... What do y'all think about uh, Dwight Howard these days? Huh? <laughs> Lakers signed Russell Westbrook, fresh off of a year Ooh. where he averaged his fourth triple double in five seasons. And dude, LeBron, 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 and the Lakers almost destroyed Russ, like almost destroyed his legacy. Because before the Lakers, he was crushed. Like Scap just said, he was averaging a triple double again. And uh, what? Ever since then, as a Clipper. Dude, the guy is playing great, even though he's coming off the bench because they're so stacked and they got James Harden. Like, the guy's playing great. He can shoot again. And a team that included Anthony Davis, LeBron James, Russell Westbrook, and Carmelo Anthony yep. finished just 33-49 and 49 and missed the playoffs despite being overwhelming odds-on favorite to win the conference. It's not a failure. It's not like... Yeah, other than that year... This is Damn. definitely the most 49. embarrassing one yet. And last night might have been the most embarrassing moment yet of this season. Oh, sure, sure. The NBA manufactured a fake in-season tournament, which... Dude, that in-season tournament was such a joke. Did you guys catch that crap? I mean, the tournament itself was kind of fun to watch. Uh... The results were kind of ridiculous on who was playing, you know, what a championship game. Uh, but the banner, the trophies, the medals, it's like uh, they're trying to they're trying to. Uh, OK, the medals, what they're Olymp they're the Olympic gold medalists now, all of a sudden the trophy. Did they just win a championship? Like, was that the NBA finals? And then the banner, how disrespectful to the other Lakers banners like Kobe Bryant is rolling in his grave. Magic got to be rolling his fucking eyes as high as they go. That there's a stupid little banner next to his, all you know, his five and, and Kobe's five. Anyways, I'm rambling. That shit pissed me off, man. Which, in fact, actually started in the second week of the regular season. And yes, the tournament only consisted of seven total games Look at against that. a series of What's sub doing there? 500 teams at the time, following the clear rigging of the pool selections by LeBron's main guy, Kamish Penishead. They even had an adorable <laughs> fake trophy, uh, I mean cup celebration after that championship game I mean, in the champagne Vegas, a fake in the locker MVP room. trophy awarded to, of course, LeBron. And, and an MVP trophy? God damn, that was disgusting. Then the humiliating celebration in the locker room that would ensue, where Braun and co. were popping bubbly and even drinking champagne out of that cup thing. A career oh. low point, even for someone as self-aggrandizing <laughs> as LeBron. 
But as embarrassing as those antics were earlier in the season, things have been going precipitously downhill as of late for Braun and the Lakers as we near ever closer to the all-important trade deadline. The Lakers first got obliterated Monday 135-119 by the Rockets. Then on Tuesday, on a back-to-back, -back, and despite being in his 21st season and the Lakers trailing by 15 points to start the fourth quarter, Braun managed to log nearly nine minutes. Nine times. Nine. Nine in a minutes. Game. Quick, quick little viewpoint. By the way, nine minutes? What the fuck? Um, 21 seasons, LeBron James. He's a pass first guy, right? That's what everybody tells me. He's a first guy. He just happens to be the, the leading scorer of all time. Why is he not the leader in uh, assists? Why? The fuck is that all about? You know, he's the leader in turnovers. Why is he not the leader in assists if he's a pass first guy and he's been playing for 21 years? And will it mean jack shit if he eventually is the leader in assists, considering he played that much longer than everybody else? I have a no. The Lakers never got under double digits in and ended up losing 138-122. LeBron, though, posted 35 minutes in this one, the most of any player on the entire Lakers roster. Yeah, the king of stat padding was definitely on one that night, but predictably needed to sit out for a rest day last night in Boston. Yeah. AD joined Braun on the list of inactives. In See... This is what I've been talking about. He, he'll he play a couple games and it'll sit out. He'll play a couple games and it'll sit out. Like, what is this? Is he even trying to win anymore? Does he even care to make the playoffs anymore? He's not doing his job. He doesn't show up to work. In this one, and accordingly, the Lakers went into Boston as 14 and a half point underdogs, which seemed to make a lot of sense since the Celtics entered the night not only with the best record in the entire league, but were also sporting a gaudy 22 and 2 home record on the year heading into this one. No LeBron, no Davis, and no problem for LA who were oh, up wow. by double digits for large portions of this game, taking the final by a score what? of one four. Dude, I did not know about this. The Lakers without AD and Braun beat Boston. Boston's been crushing it here. 14 to 105, as Austin Reeves led the Lakers with, for him, a season-high 32 points. God and the damn. win for LA, a devastating look for LeBron and the lifelong running narrative surrounding him, courtesy of his grotesque band of flunkies in the mass media. The age old LeBron needs more help narrative, which of course has been heating up into overdrive as we are now, just about one week out from that February 8th deadline. The win in Boston, meanwhile, brings LA to an even 25 and 25, 50 games into the season. And the Lakers not only have AD, who has stunningly been actually playing the vast majority of the time this season, averaging 25 points, 12 rebounds, and four assists per game. Yeah, that boy is good when he's healthy for the year. But D'Angelo Russell has also been going off as of late as he entered last night's contest averaging 25 points per game and six assists on 50% shooting from the field over his last 10 games. All right, hot take. Uh, <laughs> fight me all you want in the comments. Um, trade deadline coming up. The Lakers got a good... Could you imagine the value they can get for LeBron and AD? Like, could you imagine the players they can get if they traded LeBron and AD and just said, fuck it, these guys are barely playing as it is? Hot take, I know. You can fight me all you want. But uh, I'd say they'd be a much better team. I don't have any message for my teammates. Just go out and do your job. With Reeves what reminding us Go with his season-high 32 in the win over Boston, just how viable of a role player he is. I mean, we just suck right now. And yet, somehow, some way, GOAT LeBron, who was recently named oh, a geez. starter in the upcoming All-Star Game on February 18th, and yeah, who is likely contest. cruising well on his way to yet another All-NBA team selection at the conclusion of this season.
can only muster a record of 25 and 25 at this stage of the season. Any given night, we get our ass kicked by any team we can get. Of course. Dude, see, that's why that in season tournament was such a joke to me. So we got a 500 team here, and there that's that's what who won that that title 25 and 25 record. Cool. Of course, everyone all at once now, it must inevitably be because he needs more help. Despite the fact his <laughs> He's severely got all the help undermanned in the world. team just beat the Celtics in Boston. I mean, we just suck right now. And if La GM, ah, uh, I mean Rob Palinka, does plan on making a move, it will have to come swiftly as LA has just two games remaining now before the trade deadline. Though it seems likely, regardless of what the Lakers do between now and February 8th, they are destined for yet another disappointing and premature end to their season. If only Anthony Davis had more help. All right, that was pretty cool because uh, I didn't know a lot about what was going on recently. And I had no idea about that Boston win and Austin Reeves whooping like that. Like, I've been, I don't want to say an Austin Reeves fan, but I know he's so much better than like he's showing right now, like, cause he's playing with LeBron and you don't get to really be your true self with LeBron, but like you stick him on, on, on an, on just any other team basically in the league. And that guy's, he's going to be a top freaking 10 point guard in the league. Uh, anyways, let's, uh, first let's give uh scap some love, give him a like, subscribe, give me the same. If you can channels growing, I appreciate it. Today in the comments, uh, let's talk about what I brought up a little earlier. Trade deadline coming up for the Lakers. Would you trade LeBron and uh, AD like me? Is that crazy? And if not, what do you suggest? What would you do if you were a uh, GM? All right. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.